Today, we're gonna to take a look at the Azure Developer CLI init command to generate infra code and all of the Azure Developer CLI files you're gonna to need to get your app fully provisioned and deployed to Azure. Let's start by getting a very simple fast API Python app running. Our fast API is all up and running, a very simple hello world application. Now let's get this up and running on Azure. Back to the terminal, if we type in azd init and say use code in the current directory, it's gonna scan that code. It's found that we have a Python application in the source folder. I'm gonna confirm and continue initializing the app. I'm gonna give it an environment name and let's take a look at what it generated. You have the Azure YAML file, which helps map your source code to your infrastructure. This is saying that your source is in the source folder. We're gonna host with container app and the language is Python. Right now, AZD init just works with container apps, but we're gonna add more like Azure Kubernetes service and so on in the future. Over here, you can see that you have an infra folder and that has all the bicep you need to get this application provision to Azure. And all of that's generated based on what it found and for each applications. Right now, we just have one app, but if you have multiple apps, it would generate for that as well. You also have a .azure folder, which has your environment settings that were generated when you called azd init. Now we're just gonna run azd up. We've selected the subscription we wanna use and we're gonna use West US 3. You'll notice here that I don't have a Docker file. Even though we're pushing this to Azure Container Apps, you don't need a Docker file. The Azure Developer CLI will use what we call Oryx to automatically provision your application, which will detect that it's a Python application and generate that Docker file for you. If you do have a Docker file in your folder, it will use that instead. So everything's been packaged. Now it's actually provisioning those resources to Azure. And because this is a container apps provision, you're also gonna get the container registry, a key vault, a dashboard, application insights. It's just a set of baseline resources that we think that you're gonna to need to get this application deployed to production in a secure way. It's provisioned all your Azure resources. Now it's actually gonna push the code to those resources. The deployment is done and it spits out an endpoint. Let's hit that. And there you have it. The application is now fully provisioned to Azure. I didn't skip any steps in this video. That's all we had to do is run azd init, it automatically generated the infra and the Azure YAML file for you. And then we called azd up, and now we have the application running on Azure. This flow works really well in this use case where it's a simple application. If you have multiple applications, you're gonna to have to do some work to tie those applications together. If you wanna see more of that, just let me know in the comments and I can keep creating videos like this.